Hey everybody, this is Joseph over at Synergy 17 and today uh, I'm going to do a little demonstration on how to uh, take some text and form it to the shape of an object. Today in the Teach Me That group some people were showing some pictures of animals with text in it and I'm not sure how those ones were made but uh, I'm going to show you a technique of doing something similar and it's pretty quick. Um, you can probably do this in other applications as well but I'll show you how to do it in Corel Draw. So first of all you probably want to choose a nice thick font. Um, I just grabbed Impact. You can use whatever you like. Uh, some might look better than others. And then I choo um, I chose this uh, elephant for my animal, I guess. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick the pen tool. And you decide how much of the animal you want to be this text here. So I'm going to come across and what you want to do is create a container around it. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to come across this tail here and I'll come across the feet and then um, I'll go up here by his, his chin and then I'll come across his neck and we'll just put it all together. Now what we want to do is click on this object, shift and click on the elephant and then we want to intersect. What this is going to do is it's going to create a piece where these two objects intersect. So I'm going to throw this away and I'll click on this and you'll see what I'm talking about. So you see that's where the line came through. So the elephant's still there and that's just where it intersected. So now what I want to do is I want to uh, hold the pink one, shift and click on the elephant, and then I want to simplify, which will basically knock the back part off of that. So you just ha uh, basically have what you see. Um, now the last part is I open up the envelope tool, which is under your dockers here under, I think it's all yeah, control F7. And, um, what I like to do is I like to choose this vertical and uh, check the keep lines and what I do is I select the, uh, the text and then this means create the shape you want the envelope from what so it says from create from you click on that and choose this container and so if you notice it's going to create this container around it and then when I apply it, it's going to stretch this text to fit in there so you can see that, that there now the last part you want to do is I click on the text hold shift and choose the pink and I do E and C to center and align it and then if I move this you can kind of see that you got that shape. The last thing I like to do is some people like to have a little bit of space between this. I'll click on that and I'll shove this in a little bit and then I'll pull this part in. Just I'm basically moving it away to create this gap and that's uh, that's a one way of doing it. Um, some text looks way better than other text. Um, you can do different pieces too so Another quick example <clears throat> you could do is I could take the pen tool and let's say come across the tail here, do the same thing, hold shift, and you want to uh, intersect, then I don't need this piece anymore. And I'll change colors just so you can see. And do the same thing, maybe you want uh, part of the body here. Same thing, shift, intersect, throw that piece away, make it another color. So I don't have anything typed up, but let's just, yeah, I don't know. I'll do a capitals. I don't know how well this will look, but let's just give it a try. Um, I'm going to create the container from here, apply, same thing, create it from this one, and then I put the tail, throw that, oops, forgot to do, move that back, I forgot to take the tail and um, simplify it and simplify that one too. And that's just getting rid of the part in between. So now I could take this, align it, align that one, get rid of the blue, get rid of the orange. And and what you're seeing here is you're seeing the nodes get um, overlapped um, or twisted. You're seeing the node twist over another one. And you can go in there and fix that stuff. You, if, you, if I double click this, you notice that you're not editing the uh, text you're editing the container so what you want to do is if you want to edit that 
you'd right click on it and convert to curve. So now if I double click this, I can mess around with the nodes um, on this here. So I could take this here, stretch that so I can see that. And if I want to uh, fix my T, I can create a couple more pieces here. And I can bring this wherever I want. It makes it a little bit of node editing. But whatever you want it to look like. So I can have it look like that if I want. I can bring that in. So anyways, that's about it. Uh, if you have another method, it'd be great if you can make a video or kind of show us because uh, I know some of them have uh, different shapes to them. But uh, this is just a quick way that I kind of learned how to do it today.